Hi everyone, I am JT Pond. Today I'll be making another video. Today, today I'll be doing my massive unboxing for for one four hundred diecast scale models. This is the fourth massive unboxing. This massive unboxing is for August of two thousand twenty two. This massive unboxing, I will unbox the the brand new NG Mods July two thousand twenty two releases, which with several surprises in there, and I'll be unboxing one Phoenix model as well. So. Yes, there'll be eight miles in this massive unboxing. There is one extra mile in this massive unboxing as well, as well, which I did not anticipate getting, but we'll go over that more later on in this video. So this video is this video is a West Coast Diecast special video. So I did purchase seven of these models from seven of these models from West Coast Diecast and all the injury models. And yeah, they are such a flat out amazing retailer from Canada. And yes, they they offer the wide variety of late they offer a wide variety of the latest NG models, the wide variety of rare Gemini Dress models, and so many other great models that I know many of you would enjoy, so if you're interested from buying them, use my code JTPILOT for 5% off, and I'll, I'll include a link for the store in the description below. So getting back to the massive unboxing now. <laughs> and yeah, so this, this massive unboxing will be covering the new Angel Miles July 2022 releases, hint, hint, the four Southwest Miles, and some delayed Angel Miles June releases as well. And, <laughs> and, yeah, the, and yeah, there's one surprise model in this video, and yeah, and yeah, there's a couple other surprises as well, so... Yes, <laughs> yes. Today we'll be unboxing the unbo unboxing these four Southwest Sunbury Sunbury and we'll be having a massive Southwest expansion as well. So anyway, yeah. So anyways, we'll be going over the Angel Miles first, and then we'll go over the Phoenix Mall, and last we'll save the best model for last, in my opinion. And yeah, so nonetheless, we start with the very first model in this video. So I'd like to welcome you all to massive unboxing four. All right, so start with the first model in this video, which is the Air Flyer Boeing Sunbury Seven Six Hundred. So we start with the small, small, and proceed on to the largest model. So yes, yeah, so this will be a fairly longer mass unboxing. So get your popcorn and your choice of beverage ready to go. So yeah, so we start with the Air Flyer Boeing Sunbury Seven Six Hundred, which is Angel Miles' first Sunbury Seven Six Hundred model. And man, this is a fun, amazing model. Amazing model. I just unbox it. Man, it's great. So yes, yeah, so this is my first Sunbury Seven Six Hundred in my collection, and this model finally completed my Sunbury Seven NG collection. Now I want to complete my classic collection for Sunbury Seven. 747 aircraft. So anyway, so proceeding on to the boxes models. So yes, yeah, so here are the Boeing 747 600 box, which is the exact same size as Angel Miles' other 747 boxes. So not much else really cover there. So yes, yeah, so showing this box. So this box artwork is based off the beautiful Airflyer tail with all those with all those aircraft on the tail. It's so beautiful. And man, Airflyer did a really great job with their delivery. So yes, this is a brand new Canadian charter airline that just recently this recently started operating. And yeah, so the they operate several charter flights for various Canadian operators. I believe they have operated a WestJet charter flight before, and I did purchase purchase this model A to have a A to have another Canadian model, B to have my first Sunbury Seven Six Hundred model, and and C this to have another international airline in my collection, and indeed they have a model just just a this a good display model. So and yeah and yeah so yeah so start with the box this model. So on the top of the box here, the Boeing Sunbury Seven Six Hundred titles. Then in the center of the box are the computer jam, which is aircraft, which looks filed amazing. And then on the bottom left here, the air flyer tiles right there with the restoration. Restoration is Charlie, Golf, Kilo, Fox, or Papa. Here the officially bone licensed product down there. And here with the engine models logo on the bottom right with the one for scale collectible model right there and die cast metal. All right, so I'm going to put the camera on the floor and I mean on the on the table. So here we have the bottom of the box right here. With the Boeing Sunbury 600 computer image, we have the tiles for the Sunbury 600, and yeah, I number on this model is 76008, so Angel eighth Sunbury 600 in the planning book, so yeah. Here, here the right side of the box looking fall amazing, here the top of the box, here the, here we had the left side of the box. And then proceed on to the back of the, bo back of the box, which is just exactly the same as the front of the box, except for it has Angel Miles social medias on the bottom left right here. And yeah, there's their and yeah, there's their link to their Facebook and Instagram accounts. Highly recommend following their Instagram account. This is because they provide news about the latest new Angel Miles releases and some photographs for their past releases and also some old news is on there. So I highly recommend following it. So I do. So yes, yeah, so and here are the ID number, which is seven six zero zero eight, and the barcode down there. And here are the warning labels right there. And yeah, so that's it for the Air Fire Boeing Sunbury Seven Six Hundred box. Now let's proceed on to the model, which is more. Highly anticipated in the box. So, yeah, let's proceed on the model now. All right, so, so now proceeding on to the model itself with this beautiful Angel Miles Air Flyer Boeing Sunbury 600. This aircraft's operated by Colonial Flight Charter. So, yeah, so this airline is a brand new Canadian airline which recently started operations this year with some former WestJet Sunbury 600s. And I'm just glad these Sunbury 600s have a new operator now, which is wonderful to see. Yes, Air Flyer is a Canadian charter airline that is operated by Colonial Flight Charters. They do, and they do several charter flights for. Um, several customers and even airlines like WestJet, so pretty exciting indeed. So now I'm proceeding on to the model now, and man, this model is just flat out amazing. 
this is mo this model is one of the best engine models, some forty seven models of this year. It's just just beautiful. That's all I gotta say. It's just pure perfection. I'm glad Angel Miles nailed their first Sunfire Sun 600 model. And this model had zero to this model had little to no QC issues, which is perfect. I'm grateful to see that. It's great to see my first Sunfire Sun 600 from Angel Miles not come broken. So it's just great to see. So yeah, so anyways, now let's proceed on to the model itself. So alrighty, so start with the nose portion of this model. So here are the nose portions of this model. And man, Angel Miles really did a great job on this. It has a perfect shape and everything. And yeah, so here are the copy wins looking fine and amazing. And here we have the nose cone right there. Here are the pew tubes right there. Here we have a little eye mask on this model, which is pretty cool. I love these eye masks on the models, or raccoon masks, whatever you want to call them. This is flat out amazing. Here are the L1 door. Here are the nose landing gear right there. Here are the arrow fire tiles right there, looking flat amazing. Just great printing on that as well. Here we have the Mercy Escape window right there. Here are the Mercy Escape pass on the wing right there. I mean, here we have the beautiful and highly detailed CFM56 engine right there with the Kelowna Flight Charters logo right there. Looking fine and amazing. And just lots of detail there. Man, Angel really did a great job with that. And now proceeding on to the back small because the 747 600 is a super short aircraft compared to the other 747 variant. So here's the registration, which is in this aircraft's registered Charlie, Golf, Kilo, Fox, Red, Papa. This was a former Westjet aircraft. Here's the Canadian flag right there. Here, here are the Boeing 747 600 tiles on, below the registration. Here's the L2 door. And here is the beautiful Air Fire tail, which looks Flat out amazing. And man, Angels really did a great job with the air fire tail. And this is pure perfection. Great printing and great detailing right there by Inch Walls. So I'm gonna get some shots of I'm gonna get some shots of the left side of this aircraft and we'll proceed we'll be proceeding on to the back side of this aircraft. Alright, so proceeding on to the back side miles here. The back side is beautiful air fire button, separate seven six hundred. Here the vertical stabilizer and the horizontal stabilizers and the APU exhaust. Those are all looking perfect. All right, so now proceed on to the bottom small. So here I have the bottom of this beautiful Boeing Separate Seven Six Hundred Miles. So here are the APU down there. Here we have the two antennas right there, looking fine amazing. Here are the wing landing gear right there. Here we have the here we have the anti collision light down there or the beacon light. Then here we have the nose landing gear looking fine and amazing. And here the antenna, and here are some red stripes. These details are just pure perfection. This model engines really, really nailed the details on this model. They, they just put the, so much de they just put so much effort into detailing this model. So yeah. Alright, so now we're staying on to the front side of this model. So here are the front side of this model with a head-on shot of the nose and the copy wins, which look and the, and the copy wins look filed amazing. And yes, they have a little interesting shape on this model. I just noticed that, but other than that, they look perfect. So, yes, they're in here the inside view of the CFM 56 engines, and those are looking flat out amazing. All right, so now proceed on to the right side of the model, which is the same size as side review, but this time it's the two bag tools. So, here we have the first bag tool up front, and here are the second bag tool on the backs. So, and then we hear the R2 and R1 door. So, I'm going to get some final shots of the right side of the model, and then I'll be proceeding, and I'll be proceeding on to the scoring of this model. I mean, this model is just pure perfection. That's all I gotta say. Man, Angel's really, really nailed this model. All right, so proceed on the top side of this model. So here's the top of those, which looks wild amazing. Here's the beacon slash anti collision light, which looks wild amazing. Here's the Mercy Skate Pass. Here's the Wi Fi box. Here's the beautiful top view of the tail, which looks wild amazing. And here are the beautiful top view of the wings, which looks wild amazing. All right, so that does conclude the review of this Airfly Boeing Simpery Center 600 model, or this part of the video. So. Yes, man, Intel's really did a great job on this model, and they really killed this model. It, they, it's just pure perfection. I'm just really impressed with NG on this model. This is pure perfection. So now let's proceed on to the scoring of this model, which consists, which will be using my highly accredited JT score. So, yes, yeah, so and now let's proceed on to the scoring of this model. So, yeah, so, yeah, so, so yeah, the first category we'll be scoring this model is on the fuselage. So, Intel's did a really great job with the fuselage on this model, so the fuselage will be seeing a 10 out of 10. Moving on to the next category, which is the nose on this model. The nose has a perfect shape to it. The cockpit winds are, have a little interesting shape to them. That's my only slight gripe about the nose area, but over that, the nose is pure perfection. So I'll be giving this still a 10 out of 10 valve, just because it is flat and amazing. It's definitely superior to any of the other 747 moles in the 1400 market. But that nose uh, cockpit window thing is just something to note. So, yes. Moving on to the next category, which is the wings on this model. So the wings are perfect on this model. They have a they have a great size. They have a great angle. There's no wing flex whatsoever, and the, and yeah, and, and yeah, and they don't have any winglets, which is perfectly perfectly realistic. So for the wings on small, Angels are seeing a ten out of ten. Moving on to the next category, which is the landing gears on small. The landing gears are perfect. They have a great they have a great shape on them. They they are highly accurate and they roll. So what else what what else more could you ask for? So the landing gear on small receiving a ten out of ten. Moving on to the next category, which is the engines on small, and the CFM engines on small are pure. Perfection. They have, they have such great details on them. They have a great shape to them, and they have, yeah, they have lots of exterior details as well. And the fan blades look pure, look perfect. So, the CFM fifty six engines on this model will be receiving a ten out of ten. 
Moving on to the next guy, which is Delivery on Small. And man, Delivery is perfect on Small. It may be just a hint too dark, but other than that, Delivery is just perfect on Small. And man, Angel really did a great job on it. There's so much details with Delivery. And the tail is just perfect. Lots of detail on the tail right there. And the and even the tiles look perfect. And they have lots and they have great printing to them as well. So Delivery on Small receiving a 10 out of 10. Moving on to the next area, which is the details on this model. The details on this model are just purely outstanding. Angelos has tons of details on, on this model. They did a really great job detailing this model, so the details are receiving a 10 out of 10. And moving on to the next category, which is the quality control. And yes, thankfully this model did not come broken. There's nothing even remotely wrong with it with QC. So, quality control, Angelos receiving a 5 out of 5. But the next category, which is collectability. This model is fairly collectible, not as collectible as some other models. So this model only receiving a 4 out of 5, just because it's a niche charter airline. But this is the first time this, this airline's ever been released in 140 before. I know many Canadian collectors will enjoy it. And yeah. So the final score on this model, drum roll please. Which will, the final score will be a 99% or a 99 out of 100 or an A plus, a 99%. Angels really, really did kill this model. And they just did such a great job. And yeah, so that's it for this model. Now let's proceed on to the Southwest Sun First Image Androids, which are highly anticipated to many of my U.S. viewers. All right, so now proceeding on to the highly anticipated Southwest Boeing 747-800 boxes. And man, these models will be filed amazing. I cannot wait to open up my four Southwest Heart 747 that I ordered from the engine July 2022 set. I ordered four of them just for my Southwest Love Field Fiction my airport. That's because it is a Southwest, this is Southwest Focus City, and it is my Southwest only airport. So I just had to order a bunch of these. And man, the these will be flat out amazing models, and I cannot wait to review them for y'all. And yes, I'll be reviewing all three of the duplicate models for the split version, and I'll also review the gray winglet version as well. And yeah, but there'll be quicker reviews just because they're all, all these models will be fairly similar. So yes, now proceed on to the boxes. So the boxes of the gray winglet and split skimmer version do come together to form this beautiful heart image. And man, this is flat out a beautiful. So <laughs> yeah, so the boxes of both these models are very similar to the previous Southwest heart release from NG Models. Yes, I do have the two of the previous release, and yes, I can confirm the boxes are fairly similar. So, yeah, so yeah, so, so start with the split skimmer box. We'll, we'll start with this one. We'll go to the gray winglet box. So, so here's the split skimmer box right here. So here's the here are the Boeing some free center Angel tiles and blue looking file amazing. Here we have the beautiful computer image of this aircraft. Hopefully, Angels release some hearts some free some seven hundred soon. I'll definitely buy them. So, yeah, so I'm just grateful that Angels are doing re releases of this aircraft because I know many US collectors will enjoy it, including me. So. It's just, it's just grateful. I'm just grateful for all the great models and models have been producing over the last couple of years. So here's the Southwest logo down here. Here's the registration. This aircraft is registered number 856 by Zulu. I, I have not flown this aircraft yet. I've flown on several Southwest Hearts and several Synergy Angels, but I do not believe I've flown on this specific registration. So yeah. Yeah, Southwest Airlines is my favorite airline, and that's another reason why I had to buy four of them, just because why the heck not? Here's the Angel's logo here, one for scale collectibles models and die cast metal. And you never know, these models may become pieces of gold in the future, so that's why I had to purchase free the split skimmer version. Then proceed on to the left, left box, which is a great winglet box, box, which is exactly the same except for a couple of differences. So here are the Boeing Sunfrey Center Angel titles. Here are the computer image for this one with the gray winglets. And here are the and here are the Southwest logo down here at the registration. This one's registered 8541 Whiskey, and this aircraft does have these split skimmers now because the gray winglets were a short lived thing, so. Yeah. All right, so proceeding on to the bottom of these boxes, we'll stew them all in one. So here are the bottom of the boxes, which look fun, amazing. I love the blue on the bottom of the gray wing of the box. So here are the gray wing of the box right here, the I number, which is 58121. Then here we have the split skimmer version, which the I number is 58122. So great to see Angel Miles releasing these beautiful Southwest Hearts and First Energy 800s. So here we have the right side right here of the boxes. Here are the top side of the boxes right here. Looking fun, amazing. Just the color on these boxes are fun, amazing as well. And then proceeding on to the back side. All right, so proceeding on the back side of the boxes. Let me make it a little bit more even for y'all. So here are the back side of these two boxes. And man, they look flat out amazing. So basically the same deal as the front of the boxes, except for they have Angel Miles social medias on the bottom right. And it has the barcode as well. So that does conclude the boxes for these models. Now let's proceed on to the Grey Winglet Boeing Sunfree Sun Stranger model. And all right, moving on to the Southwest Boeing Sunfree Sun Stranger with Grey Winglets. And man, oh man, this model is just pure perfection. Man, it's just beautiful. And yes, I did open up all four of these models. And yes, they did call, come all intact. They have great QC on them. They have a couple of slight issues. The split skimmer ones does. But this Grey Winglet one is perfect though. So yeah, so... Yeah, you may be wondering, there's a Southwest Sunfrey Sunfrey Angel with gray winglets. Yes, there used to be one. There's a couple of these Southwest Sunfrey Sunfrey Angels that used to have gray winglets right after they came out of the Boeing Rain Factory. Some of them actually flew commercial services, but most of them were just 
Um, most of them just had the gray wingles for testing purposes, but they are shortly retrofitted with Swiss Skimmers. Yeah, this is a car around the 2014-2016 time frame. I do believe in some of these gray wingle aircraft did exist in 2018 as well. So, yeah, so, yeah. So, all the NG haters out there, yes, Angel Boss, this Southwest, some, some person in Angel did have the gray wing nuts, and Angel Boss represented that perfectly. So, yes, yeah, so I'm, I'm hopeful that Angel Boss released some Southwest, some, some person in some version of Harley recently with the blended wing nuts. I just hope so. Yes, the Southwest, some person in some version just never had the gray wing nuts, but they just had the, the blended heart wing nuts. So, yeah. So now let's proceed on to the nose portion as well. So here are the nose portion as well with the beautiful copper windows as Semperi Summers Andrew, which look fun and amazing. Here, here are the nose gun copper windows. Here are the PETA tube. Here are the L1 door. Here are the nose landing gear, which the gears look a little interesting. Not as good as the Aerofire, but they still look good. So here's the L1 door. Here are the beautiful Southwest logo, which looks fun and amazing. The printing on as well is just pure perfection. But the, the, logo, the Southwest logo looks just perfect. Yes, I have been on several Southwest Hearts, some for some pretty sensitive angels, and yes, angels did actually represent them. So here are the here are the passenger mercy escape doors right there. And here are the mercy escape pass on the wing right there. But here are the beautiful CFM56 engine with the beautiful Southwest.com logo right there, which looks fine and amazing. So and then proceeding on to the back portion of the small, so here the back portion of the small with the restoration number 8541 Whiskey. I have not flown this aircraft yet, so. Yes, I've been here the L2 door, I've been here with the United States flag, and here the beautiful Southwest hardtail, which is this pure perfection. That the, the yellowish orange color looks fine and amazing, and the red and blue blue colors also look fine and amazing. Yes, unlike the Gemini Max um, 8 in the Harley, which, which the yellow, that orange is yellow color, was way too yellow, so glad you nailed the color on this, it looks fine and amazing. Then here we have the gray blended wing on this model, which looks fine and amazing, perfect shape and everything. So that's it for the. So that's it for the left side of the small. Now let's proceed onto the back portion of the small. All right, so now proceed onto the back side. This beautiful Southwest Boeing Sunfree Sun Stranger with the gray winglet. So here are the AP exhaust and vertical stabilizers and horizontal stabilizers. These look perfect. All right, now proceed onto the bottom of the small. So here's the bottom of the AP right there. Look about amazing. Here's the bottom of the Southwest Harley, which looks perfect. Here we have, and then here we have the two antennas right there. Looking about amazing. Here's the wing lane gear, which this lane gear is a little bit out, which is pretty unfortunate. The lane gear on the Southwest Hard, some percentage of angels are just okay. I'm not the biggest fan of that's my only gripe about these models. But other than that, these models are pure perfection. So here are some mold detailing right there, and, you know, which looks perfect. Here are the Salvas Heart logo right there, which is always beautiful. And here are the antenna, and here are the nose landing gear, which looks perfect. Alright, so proceeding to the front of the small, so here are the nose nose and copper ones right there, which look perfect. And here are the nose landing gear, which yeah, it doesn't really look too good. It, it uh, Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, the inner piece of the landing gear sticks out a little too much, which is really unfortunate. That is a problem with some of Angie's heart, I mean, Angie's 747s in general recently, so it's pretty unfortunate. But other than that, the nose area looks like pure perfection. All right, so we've seen on the top of the mouse, so here are the top of the mouse. So here are the top of the nose, which looks fine amazing. With the cockpit windows, those also look fine amazing. And then here we have the Mercy Escape Pass, which look perfect. Here are the top view of the wing, which looks perfect. Here are the antenna. Here we have an anti collision light slash beacon light, which looks perfect. And here at the top of the tail, which looks perfect. All right, now moving on to the right side of this beautiful Southwest Boeing Sunfree Center Andrew with gray blended winglets. So, yeah, so this, so the right side of this model is the same deal as the left side at, as our review, but this time has the two bag tools. So, we have the first bag tool right here below the Southwest logo right there. And we have the second bag tool. And we have the second bag tool right back here. So I'm gonna get some final shots of the gray wing version of this Southwest Sunfire Sunfire Angel, and I'll, be, and I'll move on to one of my split Sunfire Sunfire Angels from this release. And, here, and yeah, we also have the R2 door right there, and we have the R1 door over there as well. All right, so now let's move on to the Southwest Boeing Sunfire Sunfire Angel with split skimmer wing. It's the most highly anticipated model in this video for many U.S. collectors and even some international collectors, collectors as well. So yeah, so yeah, this model is basically the same as the other model as our review, but this one has these split skimmer wings, which can be found over there. And yeah, so but now let's let me give you a little and we give you another detailed analysis of the Southwest Sunfire Search Angel model. So so I'm the copy wins this model here. So here the copy wins this model looking fine amazing. Here are the nose cone right there, looking fine amazing. Here are the L1 door, here are the Southwest Heart logo, here we have the Southwest House right there, here are the Mercy Escape doors, and you hear the Mercy Escape Pass on the wing right there. Here are the beautiful Southwest Sunfire Search Angel. CFM 56 engine looking fine, amazing. Lots of detail on that. And then here we have the tail as well with the registration number, number 8565 Zulu. And then, and then here, and then here we have the L2 door right there. And then here are the Southwest hard tail, which looks flat out amazing. All right, so we're seeing to the tail portion of the small series, the vertical stabilizers and the horizontal stabilizers. These look perfect. Then you can see the back portion of the split skimmers, which yes, I do have a little issue with them. So. 
Yes, on the smile, this, the bottom piece of the Skimmer winglet is a little too long, which is really unfortunate. But yeah, other than that, this the back side smile looks perfect. So yes, I just want to mention that split Skimmer um, issue because I know many collectors have a gripe against it. So I just want to. Yeah, so I just want to mention, hopefully Angels will fix that issue in the near future. Alright, so now we're proceeding on to the bottom portion of the monster. The bottom AP looking fine amazing here. The bottom style was heart livery. Then here we have the bottom wings looking fine amazing. Here we have the wing linger, which looks fine amazing. The lingers do roll perfectly on spawn. Here's a C from 56 engine there. Here's some little molding right there. Looking fine amazing. Here's the beautiful style was heart which never gets old. It's just pure perfection. Here we have an antenna, and then here the nose linger, which also looks perfect. Alright, so we're proceeding on to the front of the spawn. So here at the front of this beautiful Southwest Boeing Sun 800 in the heart livery. So. Yeah, so here are the nose, which looks fine and amazing. Really great shape on this one. I like the gray winglet one, the copy wings, I should say. And yeah, so on some of these Southwest Hearts, some of the Andrews, the copy wings are slanted a little bit to the left, which is pretty unfortunate. This specific model doesn't have the issue, but my other two do have the issue, which is pretty unfortunate. That is just a random QC issue. Not, yeah, so. Yeah, the QC on the models are really good. It's just some printing details that are incorrect on these models. So that's pretty unfortunate. But other than that, uh, models, yeah, models coming broken wise so far, so good in this unboxing. And yes, yeah, so then here are the inside view of the CFM56 engine. I did forget to uh, feature that in the previous um, Southwest Heart Summer So there you go. It looks fine, amazing. And you see the navigation on the look Which looks fine, amazing. Lots of printing and detailing has gone into these engine models. And I like to applaud them for their hard work. All right, so we're seeing on the top portion of the model. Sorry about it being a little too dark. So here's the top portion of the nose looking fine, amazing. Here we have an antenna right here looking fine, amazing. Here are the Mercy Escape Pass right there looking fine, amazing. Here are the top view of the wing, which just looks fine, amazing. Here we have a Wi-Fi box right, right here, which is perfectly shaped. Here we have an antenna in here, the top of the tail. All right, so proceed on to the right side of this beautiful NG model. So not much else is different on this side, except for as a two bag tool. So here we have the first bag tool right there, which looks fine and amazing. Then here are the second bag tool right back here. So I'm going to give you some final shots of this model, and I'll be, I mean, I'll be proceeding on to a little comparison between this model and the previous NG release. So I think you guys would enjoy that, so we're going to include a comparison in this space. So. All right, so I want you guys a little comparison between the new NG Boss Southwest Heart Sun for 800 and the previous first release Southwest Heart Sun for 800. And yeah, so here's some slight differences between these two models. I want to just mention this one difference, which is the livery. So on the new NG Boss version, the livery is slightly darker and less vibrant, which is way more realistic than the previous version, which the, the blade was a little too light and a little too vibrant. So I'm glad NG Boss has fixed that issue. It wasn't a major issue for me, and actually I really liked the how the delivery looked on the previous release, but this new release is slightly more realistic and overall looks better, so, yeah. And on this previous release, the heart, um, yeah, the previous heart livery release, the nose is slightly pointed down a little bit more, the landing gear is a little bit shorter, which is something interesting to note as well. Just wanted to mention those two things, and yeah, that's basically what's the, that's basically the quick differences between these two releases. So that's it for that's it for the comparison. Now let's move on to the scoring of these models. All right, so now moving on to the scoring of these beautiful Southwest Boeing Sun Free Sun Strangers by NG Models. So yes, I did end up end up purchasing for them. I got free the split skimmer version and one of the gray winglet version. And NG Models really did nail these models. Besides a couple of slight QC issues, which I did, um, yeah, which I did note for a couple of these models right here. So starting with the first category, so all these models will be getting a cumulative score just because they are they're all the exact same model. Three of them are, and the gray winglet version is. Only slight difference with that one is the great winglet. So, yeah, so that one will be scored definitely just because of the great winglet. You'll see, you see, you'll see why. So, so on the first score for all these models, which is the fuselage, fuselage on these models, and the fuselage is perfect. The fuselage on these models have a perfect shape. Um, it, it's yeah, has is is built well. Yes, it needs the fuselages on these models are really heavy. The models like, themselves are really heavy, heavy. So, yeah, so the fuselage are receiving a ten out of ten. Moving on to the next category, which is the nose on these models. So the nose are. Nose on these models are good. There's some that have, there's some of the noses on these models are slightly slanted to the left. Not trying to name any particular right there, but yes, these two Southwest Heart Sun Free Strangers on the right, the noses are slanted a little bit to the right, which is pretty unfortunate. So, yeah, not good, not good QC there, but these two right here are perfect. So, yeah, it's pretty unfortunate um, QC issues. It is a QC issue because not because just because all these models don't have that issue is just a couple of them that have it. So, Hopefully your version will come with that issue, but mine sadly did. So for the noses on these models, they'll be receiving just a nine out of ten, just because of that the QC issue on these two models. If it, it was, if it wasn't for the QC issue, I would give them ten out of tens. But yeah, the, the copy ones being slanted to right is, I mean, slanted to left is pretty unacceptable. So yeah, there you go. Moving on to the next category, which is the wings on these models. So the wings are really good on these models. They have no wing flex. They have a great shape to them, and they have lots of great details. So the wings on these models are receiving a ten out of ten. Moving on to the next category, which is the landing gears on these models. The landing gears are good. Um, they are de they are detailed well and they roll, but 
Yeah, but on some of these models, the, the nose landing gear, um, the inside of the nose landing gear extends a little too much. So, yeah, pretty unfortunate issue, especially this one right here. That is not looking too good. But other than that, the landing gear on these models are actually really good. So for the landing gear on these models, engine models are receiving a 9 out of 10. Moving on to the next tire, which is the livery on these models. The livery is just perfect on these models. This, these models. The, the blue shade on the Salvas heart livery is perfect. The, the livery and the rest of the livery colors are perfect as well. So the livery receiving a 10 on 10 on these models. And yeah. And, <laughs> and yeah, one quick thing with the wings. That, wings, I did forget to mention this. The split skimmers are a little too large on the bottom. Which is pretty unfortunate. So I will have to take off a point for that. I did forget to mention that. So the wings are only receiving a 9 on 10 just because of the split skimmer. And the bottom split skimmer being a little too big. Which is pretty unfortunate. That is a... That is a um, that is a new issue. These these forty sevens from NG Malls, they've been having an issue with the split skimmers being a little too large recently. So, pretty unfortunate. So, get back to scoring now. Sorry about that. Moving on to the next category, which, in the X category, which is the details on these models. And these models are extremely well detailed. So, yes, Angels really killed it with killed it with the details on this model. So, the details are receiving a ten out of ten. Moving on to the next category, which is the engines on these models. And the CFM engines are perfect on these models. They have great detail. So, the CFM engine receiving a ten out of ten. Moving on to the next guy, which is aerials. The aerials on these models are perfect. And the Wi-Fi box has a great shape and there's a correct amount of tennis. So, yeah, so the aerials are receiving a 10 out of 10. Moving on to the next guy, which is the quality control. The quality control is really good in terms of the models not coming broken. So that is great to see. So quality control is receiving a 5 out of 5. And collectability, come on, it's getting a 5 out of 5. These models have been highly anticipated models, highly anticipated re-releases. And I know many US collectors will enjoy them. And yeah, so the final score for these models, drum roll please, will be a 97%. So... Intuos did a really great job with these models. If it wasn't for the slight issues, these models would score perfect. But unfortunately, Intuos has some slight factory issues with some of their models now. So that's it for the Southwest Hearts. Some for some strangers. Now let's proceed on to the let's proceed on to the extra model. And yeah, all right. So proceeding on to the next two NG models. Yes, next two NG models. And yes, so this is where that extra model comes into play. Get it? It comes into play. This is because we have the NG models play A320 Neo and NG models play A321 Neo. Miles and yes, I did not originally order the play for twenty Neo. I just got the play for twenty Neo one A for twenty one Neo. So yes, and I did get, end up getting the play for twenty Neo just because West Coast Diecast accidentally sent it sent this model with my order. And yes, I did end up receiving this model. And I'm just so glad that I did because both of these models they are pure perfection. Actually, that A for twenty I like better just because of the raccoon mask. It makes that model look so much better. I'm glad to have it. These will be absolutely assets for my Jacksonville Future my report and a couple of other model reports that I plan on doing updates of in the future. So yes, these are gonna be great. Great assets and a great great set of models that it, help expand my international fleet. And these are my first models from Iceland, which is pretty exciting news indeed. So Play Airlines is a brand new airline that just started operations recently. I believe the start of this year or end of last year. And they have roots back to WoW Air. So, yes. Yeah, so, yes. WoW Air is somewhat back just under Play Airlines. So, similar similar business model and similar aircraft. So, yeah. I'm just glad Inge Models made these models because they are the first model company to release play airlines models i'm just glad they finally released them man they're gonna be absolute facilities for my airport so yes yeah, so nonetheless we'll be starting with the, these two models so yes I, I am reviewing these two models together in this massive box just because the boxes do go together and they're somewhat similar models so here is the two boxes of these models and yes they come together to form this beautiful play airlines image so so yes and the boxes do have a different shape to them just because the a 20 is smaller so that box is smaller and this is my first ng a 20 neo model so i'm glad I'm glad this video has given me the opportunity to review my review NG Miles first AV20 Neo model. It all worked out then, so I'm glad to have this model. And yeah, so this is yeah, so this is my second new NG mold in this video, which is pretty exciting news indeed. Second new NG mold in this video, I should say. So yeah, so here are the AV20 Neo box right here, looking for amazing. So here are the so here we have the tiles right there. Here are the computer image uh, computer image this model, which looks perfect. Here are the Play Airlines tiles right there with the restoration. This aircraft's Retro Tango Foxtrot Alpha. Alpha Echo Whiskey, and here are the Inch Miles logo on the bottom right. One more scale collectible, scale collectible miles and diecast metal. Then here we have the air box, which is almost exactly the same, just just except the play the play logo is white on this box instead of red. So here's the play logo right here with the registration of Tango Foxtrot right, Papa Papa Alpha. And here's the Inch Miles logo, computer, computer image, and the top. And then here we have the billboard tiles right there for the Eiffel Neo. All right, so proceeding on to the bottom. Of these boxes so here are the bottom of these boxes right here so here's the bottom of the a20 neo boxes i never i never on this model is 15006 with the barcode then here are the bottom of the a20 neo boxes i never which is 13043 so yeah engine miles 43rd a20 a321 release so pretty exciting indeed so here are the right side of both of these boxes right here 
Then proceeding onto the top of these boxes. So here we have the top of these boxes. Then proceeding onto the left side of the boxes right there, which looked fine and amazing. Then proceeding onto the back of these boxes right here. And here we have the back of these boxes, which exact same, which is the exact same as front of the boxes, except for the Ichimo social media is right here. And then the I never in the barcodes. And yes, once again, I'm just grateful that I got to play Trendy. I'm just so glad to have it. And yes, it made it made this video have an even number of models, which this video I'll be unboxing eight models. So there you go. So that's it for the boxes. Now let's proceed on to the play A320 model. I mean, it's a is definitely a <laughs> definitely an absolute facility. That's all I gotta say. A good Red River Aviation term, right? Alright, so proceeding on to the model stuff. That beautiful play Aaron Jones A320 Neo. Man. Oh man, look at this pure perfection. This model is using Inchmall's new A320 Neo mold. And this is the first ever A320 Neo mold ever released from Inchmall's, which is really surprising. It took them all to, until 2022 to release an A320 Neo model, but the weight was well over her. This model is just pure perfection. So, yeah, I'm glad Inchmall's is the first manufacturer to release Play Airlines model. So, yeah. All right, so start with the nose, air, nose area. This model's here, the copy ones right there with the raccoon mask. The, the copy ones are perfect, and the raccoon mask looks perfect as well, and the nose has a great shape to it. And yes, the new new Inchimals A320 family mold is this pure perfection, like I said in previous videos. So, glad to have my first NG A320 Neo here. So, here are the P-Dubes right there. Here are the Airbus A320 Neo tiles with the um, caps lock A3 Airbus tiles right there, which is pretty pretty cool. But, <laughs> yeah, kind of looks weird, but that is realistic. So, yeah, so here are the nose lanyard, which is slain a little bit, which is perfectly realistic. Here are the L1 door right there. Here are the play airline tiles, which is perfect. Really great detailing on this model and great printing job by Inchimals. Here we have the... Emergency escape windows right there. Emergency escape doors. Then here we have the emergency escape house on the wing right there. Then here are the beautiful engines on these models. So this is either a Prime Winnie engine or a um or a CFM Leap engine. I'm pretty sure these are Prime Winnie's, but I may be wrong. So here are the engines right there, looking flat amazing. Then here are the shark on this model, which also looks flat out amazing. Great shape by engine models. Some people have complained about it, but I believe it is a perfect shape. So there you go. And yeah, that looks perfect. So proceeding on to the back portion of the small so here's the back portion of the small here, the L2 door, and here we have the registration, which there's this, this aircraft's registered, Tango, Foxtrot, Papa, Papa, Alpha. Here's the ISIS flag, and here are the Play Airlines house right there on the tail, looking fine, amazing. And look at all that detailing on the tail and the printing. Just pure perfection. And yes, the, and the Play Airlines logo is centered on the small, so that is great sight All right, see. so proceeding on to the back portion of this beautiful Play Airlines, there's a between you model. And man, Angel just killed this model. Every time I look at it, I just love this model even more. I, I, Angel Miles really did a great job on this model, and I am just, yeah, I'm just impressed by Angel Miles on this model, unlike the Southwest, which I'm kind of disappointed about, but, you know, it's okay, so. Yeah, so here are the, so we had APU exhaust on this model with the vertical stabilizers and horizontal stabilizers, these look Alright, so we're seeing onto the bottom portion of this model, so here are the, eight, so here are the bottom of the APU right there, here are the antenna, here are my large fingers right there. Here are the wing linger looking perfect, here are the stand hold, which is pretty exciting how this model includes the stand hold. Here are the restoration on the bottom of the wing, which is, which is Tango, Foster, Papa, Papa, Alpha. Here are the bottom of the engines right there, which look perfect. On some of these A320 Neo models, the engines are slightly larger on one of the sides, which is pretty interesting. So, yeah, then here are the nose landing gear, which looks perfect. All right, so proceeding on to the nose portion of this model. So here are the nose portion of this model, and then, or the, or nose, or the front side of this model, I should say. So here are the cockpit windows, which look fine and amazing. A little bit slanted, but over that, they look great. Then here are the inside of the engines, which, yeah, they still have that little ring to them, which is pretty unfortunate. So, yeah, so really... Really unfortunate, Angel Miles still has that ring in the engines, but over that, the engines look perfect, and yeah, the front side of the small looks perfect. Alright, so proceeding on to the right side of the small, which is the same, same deal as our review, but this time has the two bag tools. So here are the first bag tool right there, and the second bag tool, which is back here, which is the bag tools are hidden in the redness of the slivery. And man, Angel Miles really did a great job on the small. If I'm gonna get some final shots of the small, then I'll be, then I'll be moving on to the Play A321 Neo model. All right, so we're seeing on to the engine bonds play airlines with A321 Neo 100 diecast scale model. So, yes, just like the A320 Neo from play airlines, this model is just pure perfection. That's all I gotta say. And I really love engine bonds new A320 Neo mold. This is my second second A320 Neo mold, Neo model on their brand new A320 Neo mold. Pretty exciting. So, yes, yeah, so starting off with the front of this model. So here are the copy windows for the play airlines with A320 Neo. Look, the copy windows look fine, amazing. Yes, these don't have the raccoon mask, which is which is which is realistic. So yeah, pretty weird to say, but I wish they did have the raccoon mask, but they look fine without them too. So yeah. So here are the caps lock A320 Neo tiles, so that's pretty funny. Then here at the PU tubes right there. Here are the L1 door. Here are the play airlines tiles, which look fine and amazing. Perfect printing and everything, and the colors is perfect on them as well. L2 door. 
Then, then here are the wings on this model without the Marcy Escape Pass, because this model, this aircraft doesn't have them. Here are the CFM Leap engines. Yes, I did check. These are the CFM Leap engines. The Eve Train Neo also has the CFM Leap engines. So, yes, most of, most most Eve Train Neos do have this prime winning engines, but a lot of them do have the CFMs as well. So, yeah, it's just, <laughs> yes, it's a, yeah, it's just a habit for me to call them the prime winnings because I I've reviewed so many Eve Train Neos with the prime winnings. So, yeah. So sorry about that. Uh, sorry about that misinformation earlier. Here's the L3 door, and here's the L4 door with the play, the beautiful play airline's tail. And with the restoration of Tango Fox Alpha Echo Whiskey and the Iceland Air Flag, I mean, yeah, Iceland Flag. And here's the L4 door right there. So I'm going to give you, I'm gonna give you some shot, shots to the left side of this model, and we'll be moving on to the back side of this model. Man, this model is just pure perfection. All right, so we're seeing on to the back side of this model. So here the vertical stabilizers and horizontal stabilizers. Stabilizers, they look perfect. And here are the APU exhaust, which also right, so we're on to the bottom small with my large hands. So here I have the APU down there. Here, here I have antenna right there. Here are the stain hole and the wing linger, which all look perfect. Here are the bottom of the engines right there, the CFM leap engines. Here I have the restoration on the wing as well. And then here it has some molding right there. And here are the nose linger, which looks perfect. All right, so moving on to the front side of this aircraft. And yeah, here we head on shop, the play A for 20 m nose, and the nose on the small looks flat out amazing. Yes, the copy ones aren't really slain on this model, and it looks perfect as well. But this model, unfortunately, does have the rings in the CFM Leap engines, which is pretty unfortunate. So, yeah, pretty unfortunate there. So, yes, yeah, so that's the front side of the aircraft. Let's move on to the top side of the aircraft. All right, so we're seeing on the top side of this play, Airlines was AP20 Neo 14 scale die cast model. So, here at the top of the nose right there, looking fine amazing. Here an antenna right there. And then here we have the top view of the wings. The wings look fine amazing. The top view of the wings does, yeah, top view of the wings look fine amazing. Then here another antenna. Here are the Wi-Fi box, which just like the play of Tony is a little oversized, but over now it looks perfect. Another antenna in the top of the. Alright, so moving on to the right side of the small, so the same deal side review, but this time it has the R1, R2, R3, and R4 door, and it has the bag tools. So we have the first bag tools below the player on its house right there, and the second bag tools back here. So I'm gonna get some final shots this small, and I'll be scoring the play of Tony and the play of Tony models. And man, they'll be definitely getting some high scores. These are just fun and amazing. Intel's really, really nailed these models. All right, so that does conclude the review portion. These play airlines are A for Toy Neo family models. So, yeah. So now let's score these models with my JT score. So starting the first guy, which is the fuselage on these models. And the fuselage, we're receiving a 10 out of 10 on both of these models. The nose are receiving a 10 out of 10 on both of these models. The tail portion of, this, of these models, we're receiving a 10 out of 10. The wings are receiving a 10 out of 10. The wings are not, they don't, the wings, <laughs> the wings are not pointed up too high. And the sharkles are perfect on this model. And the sharkles have a great shape to them. So, yeah. The next guy, next guy running is, and then the JT score is the engines. The engines on these models are sitting at 10 out of 10. They have a perfect shape. They're not too large. And they have great details inside. And yeah, but yeah, but the one one downside of the engines, they do have the ring inside them, which is pretty unfortunate. So the engines are only sitting at 9 out of 10. But it's actually a slight issue, though. Moving on to the next category, which is the livery on these models. And man, the livery is perfect on these models. Yeah, the livery is perfect on these models. The, the livery is super vibrant and accurate. And man, Angel Miles really killed the liveries on these models. And, <laughs> and yes, Angel Miles is really great at good at making making perfect liveries on on the models. They do a great job with liveries. They rarely screw up liveries on models. So, yes, yeah, so the liveries on both of these models receive 10 out of 10s. Moving on to the next category, which is the areas on these models. The areas on these models are receiving a 10 out of 10. Actually, no, 9 out of 10, sorry. Uh, the areas are perfect on these models, besides the Wi Fi boxes being a little too large. Moving on to the next tire is the quality control. The quality control is perfect on these models, which is a great sight to see. So the quality control is receiving a 5 out of 5. And the final category is the collective value. And the collective value is receiving a 5 out of 5. Play Airlines is a brand new airline, and none of these have ever been made in any scale before in the in the 1400 market or even any other uh, model market. So, yes, yeah, so both these models, drum mobile players, are receiving a 98 out of 100 or 98% or an A. Plus. So, great job by Engine Models. And yeah, so that does conclude the Engine Models portion of this video. Now let's proceed on to the last model in this video. Which is a Phoenix model. Alright, so we're seeing on to the final model in this mass unboxing, which is the Phoenix Models Edelweiser with every 40 300 model. And yes, this is another surprise model in this video, but this is our only Phoenix model in this video. So, yes, this model was from Phoenix Models June 2022 releases, and it did finally arrive in stock to retailers recently. I did purchase this model, and yes, it just ended up being in this mass unboxing. This was originally supposed to be in, in, in its own, own review, but I did have I did move it. I did move this model. It, 
I did just decide to review this model in this past unboxing just to save on some time. And yes, yeah, so this model will be my first A340 model, my whole collection, which is really exciting. My first Edelweiss model. It'd be great to have this airline at Jacksonville and some other airports I plan on doing. Just have another international airline there, a key staple at some sun destinations like Orlando and Fort Lauderdale. I mean, yeah, Orlando or Cancun. So I just had to purchase this model. So <laughs> yeah, I saw Phoenix release and I was like, yes, I got to get it. So there you go. So yeah, so we start off the box of this model. So here's the box of this model. So yeah, this model did not come from West Coast Tech guys. This came from Sprue Brothers. So pretty great retailer. So yeah, so here, so it's on the top of the model here. The Airbus A340 is free in the tiles. Looking fine. Amazing. Then here are the computer image of this model. Then here we have the Edelweiss tiles right there and the restoration, which is Hotel Bravo Julia Mike Echo. And then here have one for the scale platinum series. This is my first Phoenix model in a really long time. So, yeah, this is, I believe, this is my third, third Phoenix model. No, fourth. This is my fourth Phoenix model because I have the Azul A330 Neo, the Viva A320, and I have the Prime 767. So, this is my fourth Phoenix model. So, I want to get more Phoenix models, but. Yeah, because I really, I really like some of their molds, and the Air 40 mold is actually really good. There's some issues I have with it though, but it's still a great mold until Angel Mills releases an Air 40 mold. So, here at the bottom of the box is the beautiful Phoenix slogan Airbus Air 40 screener tiles, and the computer image of the model right there. Here we have the right side of the model with the Edelweiss tiles and, and the Phoenix model logo. Here at the top of the box is the computer image and the Phoenix model logo. Here at the left side of the box right there, Harv Aviation, true to scale collectible, super detailed graphic, realistic feature antennas, rollable wheels with Middle laning gear. Yes, basically kind of like Joe just slogan there, but you know what? It's pretty cool. Here at the back side of this model with the limited edition tiles right there. So this is a limited edition model. Most 140 models are limited edition, but it's not really too special there. So yes, yeah, so here's the Edelweiss on logo right there. Here's the restoration, which is Hotel Bravo Julia Mike Echo. Then the I number, which is 11749. Here's the barcode and the warning labels right there. So that's it for the beautiful box of this model. Let's move on to the model itself. All right, so proceeding on to the beautiful Phoenix models, Edelweiss, there's A340-300. And man, what a flat out and beautiful model. And yes, I'm so glad to finally have an A340 in. And this aircraft is such a cool aircraft. And, and yes, and these aircraft are slowly decreasing around the world now just because they're all getting retired. So it's pretty unfortunate. So I'm glad to have an A340. I'm glad to feature an A340 in an airport day coming soon. And yeah, so starting off with the front portion of the small, so, so yeah. All right, so starting with the nose of the small, so here are the beautiful A340 nose right there. Looking for amazing. This, the A340 is basically the exact same as the A340, except for it's slightly longer and has some more engines. And there's some other slight differences because Airbus developed these aircraft right around the same time. So similar to the Boeing 757 and the Boeing 767 in that regard. So yeah, so here we have the Airbus A340 tiles right there. I mean, A340 copy ones right there. Here we have a little um, logo right there. I can't really tell. I think this is Platus right there. I can't really tell what that little um, word is right there. But yeah, here are the feed tubes there. Here are the L1 door. Here we had the nose lane gear of me on it. So pretty interesting there. Um, yeah, <laughs> pretty interesting there. Here are the Edelweiss logos. Edelweiss logo right there. And here, Edel and here are the Switzerland logo right there. So this is my first air air aircraft from Switzerland. First model from Switzerland. So pretty cool. Then here at the wing on small, which yes, the small is a cradle model, which is pretty unfortunate. There's a big seam right there, pretty unfortunate. So, yeah. So here the A340 wing wing right there looks all amazing. Yeah, the wings a little, wing dips a little bit there, so pretty unfortunate. And here the A340 winglet right there, which which looks all amazing. That yeah, that flyer looks beautiful right there. Then here we have the L3 door right there. And then on the back side of the spawn here the L4 door and the registration, which is Hotel Bravo Julia Mike Echo. And then here had the Beautiful flower tail right there. So I'm gonna get some shots of the left side of this model. We'll be seeing onto the back side of this model. Alright, so we're seeing onto the back portion of this model. So here the vertical stabilizers and horizontal stabilizers and AP exhaust. Those look perfect. Alright, so we're seeing onto the bottom of this model. So here the bottom of the AP right there, looking fine, amazing. Here I have a bunch of antennas right there. I'm glad Phoenix Models includes a great amount of antennas, so that is realistic right there. Then here at the wing landing gear right there. Then we had the landing gear on the fuselage, which is pretty realistic, pretty realistic and pretty unique about this aircraft. Here at the bottom of the engines right there. There's once again four engines on this model. I'm not sure what engine type they are, but there you go. Here I have the standard right there. Here at the Phoenix logo, here with antenna. Then here are the nose lane right there, which looks fine and amazing. All right, so we're seeing to the front view of this Phoenix Models Edelweiss or it's A340-300 model. And yes, the front view looks fine and amazing on this model. So here I have the cockpit windows right there. Then we have the engines on this model, which the engines on this model look fine and amazing. Here are the navigational light right there. All which look flat out amazing. All right, so we're seeing onto the top portion of this model. So here's the top nose right there. Here an antenna right there. Here we have a Wi-Fi box there. And then here we have a 3D beacon right there or a navig, yeah, or a, 
or anti collision light. This small does have a free DB clamp, which is pretty exciting there. So glad I mean, in Phoenix is including that. So great. See there? Here at the top of the wings of this model, which look found amazing. Here have another antenna, another antenna, and then here at the top tail, which look found amazing. All right, so proceeding on to the right side of this model, which is the same deal as the side review, but this time it has the two back tools. So it has the first back tool right here towards the nose portion of the aircraft, and the second back tool, which is, can be found back here. Yes, yeah, so th and this side also contains the R4, R3, R2, and R1 door, and yeah. I'm gonna get some final shots of this model, then I'll be concluding the, I'll be concluding the review portion for this, uh, of this video for this model. All right, so that's just concluded review for this Edwise or A34-300 by Phoenix model. So now I'll be scoring this model with my highly credited JT score. So yeah, so this model, yeah, this model is a great model. It's a well-needed asset, but there's some slight issues I have with this model. So it's not the first guy, which is a fuselage on this model. So yes, this model is a cradle model, which is pretty unfortunate. So the fuselage will only see me a nine out of 10, just cause it's a cradle mold. The cradle seam is somewhat noticeable also. Moving on to the next, next category, which is the nose on this model. The nose is perfect on this model, great shape, so the nose we're seeing at 10 out of 10. Moving on to the next category, which is the, which is the wings on this model. The wings are good on this model. They do dip a little bit on the right, which is pretty unfortunate, but other than that, I mean, on, yeah, on the right. But other than that, the wings are perfect, so the wings we're seeing only at 9 out of 10. Moving on to the next category, which is the engines. The engines are perfect on this model, so we're seeing at 10 out of 10. Moving on to the next category, which is delivery. Delivery is perfect on this model. It needs to be a little bit more vibrant, but other than that, the delivery is perfect on the smile, so the delivery is receiving a 9 out of 10. And then moving on to the next, next category, which is the aerials. The aerials are perfect on the smile, they're receiving a 10 out of 10 for the aerials. The details are receiving a, a 10 out of 10. And then the next category, which is the collectability. Collectability will be getting a 5 out of 5. Yeah, otherwise, models are really not released that often, and a lot of collectors have been looking forward to this release, so collectability will be a 5 out of 5, and QC will be getting a 5 out of 5 as well. So this, the final score for this model is a 96 out of 100, or A at 96%. So that does conclude the review for this model, and that does conclude this video. And yeah, so now let's proceed on to the overview and overall conclusion of this video. All right, one quick thing I want to mention before the end of this video. All of West Coast Sidecast orders do come with free GSC, so today we got a bat, we got a we got a passenger load right here, or a staircase. So this, this staircase is interactive, so you can extend the stairs upwards or downwards. This depending on which aircraft you want this staircase to serve, so great how West Coast Sidecast are making a 3D custom GSC and they're giving it to you for free with, with your order. So great to see there. So now let's, now let's proceed on to the conclusion of this video. And alrighty folks, so let's conclude this massive unboxing for, and this was for, for August of 2022, and this was for the new NG Models July 2022 releases with some delayed June releases and that one Phoenix model back there. And yes, overall about the new NG July releases, am I pleased about them? Yes, I am. Yeah, there's some great models in here. These Southwest some personal trainers are flat amazing, besides the landing girl on there, which is really disappointing. But other than that, Angel Wells did a great job on it. I and mean, the great wing that Southwest some personal trainers might be my favorite one, just because how unique it is. These four Southwest some personal trainers will be absolute facilities, and they'll be well used in my Southwest Low Field Fiction my Report. And yes, and these, yeah, and this this order makes my Southwest some personal trainers collection, heart collection go up to six miles. Yes, I have six of these, which is crazy to say, so. Yes, I think I'm going to stop us hard some percentage of ages. I probably won't be buying any more anytime soon. So that's great. That is great. So that collection is complete. So, yeah. And these two models, these two play A320 Phantom models, they are just flat amazing. I'm just so glad that I actually got to play A320 Neo. And I guess that, that did turn out really well. I'm just glad to have it there. So these two models are going to be absolute facilities. And I cannot wait to use them in upcoming airport dates. So, yeah, I'm great. I'm just grateful that I got to play A320 Neo. So, yeah, that was, a, yeah, that was pretty cool. That was probably one of the best mistakes in... <laughs> Yeah, best one of the best outcomes for a mistake like that. So great to see there. Then here we have then here are the air flyer bones. Some first are six hundred, another flat out amazing model. <laughs> yeah, this is another flat out amazing model. I love that model. Another great engine model. And I'm glad and I'm just so glad to finally have a some first under six hundred in my collection. And same thing for this Edelweiss Avery 40. I'm so glad to finally have an Avery 40 in my collection and an Edelweiss model. It's been a long time coming, so yeah. So overall I am pleased by these brand new models in this massive unboxing, so yeah, so I want to I want to give you guys a quick channel update. So yes, this Monday we'll be having the twenty first update of my Jack Self Fiction Report, which will be the two year anniversary. So this is a pretty exciting update. This will feature all these new models and some other models, new models in there as well, and some of my favorite models and my some of my um top picks of models will be in that airport update. And hopefully, y'all will enjoy the update. And yes, the stay tuned for the update. It'll be a massive update, probably the largest Jack Self Fiction Report update ever. So yes, yeah, so just stay tuned. So. <laughs> 
Yeah, just stay tuned. And yes, next week we'll be having another Brain and Mall Airport update towards the end of the week. I won't give it away yet. And the Gemini Dust releases, Gemini Dust, all, uh, Gemini Dust September releases will likely come out next week. So, yeah, just stay tuned. So that is it for the channel today. And that is, that is it for this video. So I'm Jake Pilot, And have a wonderful day. Bye.